Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing my February wrap up. So last year in February of 2015, my challenge for the month was to read six books in that month. And I thought that was such a daunting task and I barely finished it. But y'all, guess how many books I read this month? 12. I completed 12 books this month. Granted, multiple of them are manga and graphic novels and comics, but I read 12 books this month. However, even though I did read 12 books this month, I actually already did a wrap up for seven of them. Um, so when I get to those, which were my Rainbow Thon slash Graphic Week reads, I will just show them, give their rating, and link you down in the description to my Rainbow Thon wrap up if you want to hear more about those. So the first book that I read in the month of February was The Chimes by Anna Smale. The Chimes is a literary fiction dystopian fantasy set in England. Within this world, people have trouble retaining their memories and they use music to communicate with each other, both via um, like signing the different solfege syllables and singing like the melodies to get to places. It's a very complex system. And like I said, music is such an integral part of everything that they do. And I don't want to say much more about this because I do feel like it's very important to discover much of this book on your own, but it was beautiful. So within this book, Anna Smale has kind of invented some of her own words. So I will say that it at first is slightly difficult to get through. She tends to insert musical terminology or variations of musical words into different places where they wouldn't naturally fall in our current dialect. Um, but being a musician myself, I understood what she was saying and I found it to be very, very beautiful prose. I do think that would be slightly difficult for people who are not musicians and who are not familiar with musical terms, but I still would highly recommend this book because like I said, the writing is very beautiful and eventually you get in the flow of it and you understand what she's meaning regardless of whether you are or not a musician. And once you get past the beginning and you start to understand the words that she's using in place of normal words, it becomes this really interesting story and I really, I just, I loved this book a lot. It has beautiful writing. It's very musical. It's a fantasy dystopian set in England. It has a really interesting plot. These are all things that just make my brain go crazy. And I absolutely loved it. I gave this one a full 10 out of 10 stars. This is definitely up there now among my favorite standalones of all time. This is beautiful. I can see why this was long listed for the Man Booker Award in 2015. I just, I loved this book so much. And then the Rainbow Thon slash My Graphic Week started. So the Rainbow Thon was a readathon that happened from the 7th to the 14th of February. And the goal of that readathon was to read books whose spines created a rainbow. And I combined this with my own Graphic Week challenge where I challenged myself to read a comic slash manga slash graphic novel every single day of the week. And these are the seven graphic works that I read during that week. Like I said, I have a full wrap up for that week down in the description, but I will quickly run through these books in the order that I read them and tell you my star rating that I gave them. Death Note Black Edition Volume 1 by Tsugumi Oba. I gave this one nine stars out of ten. Next was Ghosted Volume 1 Haunted Heist by Joshua Williamson, and I gave this one five and a half stars out of 10. Next was Sandman Volume 1 Preludes and Nocturnes by Neil Gaiman, and I gave this one seven and a half stars out of 10. Next was Chu Volume 1 Taster's Choice by John Lehman, and I gave this one eight stars out of 10. Next was Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life by Brian Lee O'Malley, which is the first book in the Scott Pilgrim series, and I gave this one eight stars out of 10. And rounding off the week, I read Saga Volumes 4 and 5 by Brian K. Vaughn, illustrated by Fiona Staples, and I gave both of these eight and a half stars out of 10. So then once I finished the readathon, this like weird inspiration kind of struck, and I felt the need to finish my reread of The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon that I started about this time last year. So if you're unaware, this is a fantasy dystopian-ish book set in England, um, and it's set kind of in the future in this dystopian England where people can be clairvoyant and there are different forms of clairvoyance, but it is insanely legal just to be clairvoyant, not even just to use it, but to be clairvoyant. Our main character Paige is one of the rarest forms of clairvoyance and she is part of this 
underground um, clairvoyant gang within London called the Seven Seals. And I'm not going to go into anything else as far as plot wise, but this book is outstanding and I love it. The magic system slash clairvoyance within this book is really detailed and intricate and the characters are very three-dimensional and I love the world and it's just beautiful. That's all I can say. It's beautiful. This was one of my favorite books that I read in 2014, so I eagerly anticipated its sequel, The Mime Order, when it was released in the beginning of 2015, but its release came and went and I just wasn't in the mood for it. So in like March of last year, I picked up The Bone Season to reread it and I never finished my reread because I just wasn't in the mood for it. But like I said, at the end of the Rainbowthon slash my graphic week, inspiration kind of just struck and I felt like finishing that reread. I was about halfway through it and I finished the second half of the book in less than a day. I just kind of flew through it because the second half of this book is really fast paced. Um, I loved this book just as much, if not more, than I loved it the first time. It is just a really wonderful book. It has such a cool world and the clairvoyance system is so cool and I love the characters and I am in love with the series and I once again gave it 10 out of 10 stars. It's it's a beautiful book. And then finally after I finished the Bone Season reread I jumped into the Mime Order by Samantha Shannon and I read all of it in like three days. I flew through this. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I love this series so much. I ended up giving this one 10 out of 10 stars. For the majority of the book, I was planning on giving it 9 stars out of 10, but the end kind of just solidified it as a 10 star book, and I my mind was blown, and I just sat there after I finished the book, just like sitting there hugging it, not sure what to do with myself. I just, like I said, I'm in love with this series, and I cannot wait for the third book to be released next year. Like I want it already <laughs> and I am just so sad that I have to wait like an entire year to get the third one. And then because I love the first volume so much, I rounded off the month by reading volumes two and three of Death Note Black Edition by Tsugumi Oba. Overall, I thought that both of these volumes were really good continuations of the series and I thought that they were both really interesting and intriguing and intricate and I really enjoyed them. I did enjoy volume three slightly more. I gave this one eight and a half stars out of ten and I gave this one eight stars out of ten. Um, the first volume is still probably my favorite but overall this is a really solid series so far and I am really excited to be able to continue it once I get the next few volumes. So those are all the books that I read in the month of February. Like I said, it was a really great reading month. Not only did I read a lot of things, but I read a lot of things that I really loved. I gave two 10 star ratings this month other than the bone season. Like I read two new books that I gave 10 star ratings to, and that rarely happens within one month. I usually only give out maybe seven of those tops a year. So that is like really impressive. And so this was, like I said, a really great reading month. So now to address my book stack challenge. If you want to know how my book stack challenge works, I will leave a link down in the description to my video where I explained it. But essentially every month I take a book off the stack and I have to read it within that month and I replace it so that there are constantly five books in the stack to choose from every month. And the book that I read from the stack during February was Sandman Volume 1 Preludes and Nocturnes by Neil Gaiman. So I've been going back and forth as to which book to choose from the stack because none of them are like especially calling my name but there are a couple that I'm interested in picking up soon. I've been going back and forth between Carry On and Afterworlds, and I think I finally decided what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna go with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I have really been in that like England fantasy mood because of the bone season and because of the chimes, and while this isn't technically like, you know, an England fantasy. It does have that kind of Harry Potter-ish vibe to it and that of course is British and fantasy. So I think this is most in line with the mood that I'm in currently. Plus one of my challenges for the year is to read seven books that are over 500 pages long and so far I've already read one so I'm doing pretty well. That was The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon and hopefully I can add to that by reading Carry On. So now of course it is time to choose another book from my TBR jar to add to my book stack for the books that I will choose for April. And once again, these are just gonna get dumped on the floor because like shaking this won't do anything. So we're just gonna dump. 
Okay, so I closed my eyes and I picked one up at random, so let's see what book will be added to the stack. Okay, so we're gonna be adding The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson to the stack, aka one of the largest books on my TBR. Get down here, buddy, you've been chosen. So The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson is getting added to the book stack. I'm actually kind of not mad about this because I've been wanting to read it lately, but I also am still very intimidated by it because it's massive. So, so that is it for my February wrap up. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the books that I have talked about today and let me know what your favorite book was that you read in February. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!